Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming where I'm extremely excited to bring you a brand new campaign. And this time we're going to be playing on Rome Total Realism Imperium Serectum, the mod for Rome Total War Remastered that was married from Rome Total Realism and Roma Serectum from Rome 1. Basically making the game feel and act a lot more realistic, a lot more factions as you can see. A lot more different mechanisms that we have to contend with. And we're going to be playing through on this. I cannot wait, guys. I've wanted to play Imperium Serectum on the channel for a little while because it's awesome. It's really, really awesome. Now, the poll results, guys. Hellenism won by quite a considerable margin. Rome was second, which was surprising considering that we just finished a Scipii Let's Play. So Hellenic came with 35%, Rome 27, Eastern 23, and Barbarian 15. And what more Hellenic iconic faction could we play than the Spartans? This is Sparta, guys. This is Sparta, and I cannot wait. Now, before we get going properly, guys, I've set the ambitious goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Comment down below what you think of this new campaign and like the video. That'd be amazing. Now, thing to note, if you are watching this on the original premiere, another episode of this will come out between two and four hours after this, so you can get your Imperium Serectum in binge early. So episode two should be out just after this, guys. So look forward to that. First things first, we're going to go through the history of Sparta here and the current situation of it. If you want to skip that, the chapters will be down in the um, the bar down below. So if you want to skip me reading all this, no problem. Get down to the gameplay down below. Stranger, tell the Spartans that here we lie obedient to their laws. Epigram at Thermopylae. In times of immemorial, there was only chaos. From chaos came earth, Gaia. And on Gaia, there was only the rock. The rock, the sand, and the water. Prometheus mixed rock, sand, and water into mud. And out of fire, he created man. He gave us the fire. But its deeds also led to Pandora, releasing all the evils of the cosmos into the realms of the mortals. Ever since, man has suffered. Eurota suffered when he overcame the river. Clete, suff Clete suffered when she gave birth to Sparte. Sparte married Lacedaemon, and he suffered much too when he undertook the arduous task of building a city. Yet, building a city he did, and we proud it called it both Lacedaemon and Sparta even today. Years passed, men died, men were born, but the rock always stayed. The Erotas was still running through the green lands of Laconia, and the Tigatos guarded our lands. When Helena, the daughter of glorious Menelaus, was stolen by the Tro Trojans. The Trojans were punished, but so were the Atreides, for suffering is the fate of man. The scions of the immortal Heracles suffered when they came into the valley of the Erotus to win Lacedaemon. On their great wandering, these Dorians had to bear many an evil, but they cleansed this land with their blood and made it holy. Eurysthenes and Procles, wise and proud, came together to rule our lands, and ever since, the sacred houses of Eurypontids and Aegeads have given us kings. As, as time flowed by, the water of the Orotas cut the, deep, the rock deeper and deeper, and in the shadow of the Taigetos, we, Lacedaemians, became the foremost men of Hellas. Laconia was ours, and the Messenian cowards were punished for their impudence. The gods made us their masters, and their masters we shall always be. Many tried to challenge us. We put the monstrous Argives in their place, and we saved Hellas from the tyranny of the Athenians. Yet yeah, there was no greater glory than that which befell Leonidas and his men. They died for their and our freedom, and the freedom of all Greeks, from time immemorial to a distant future no one but the Pythia can, can foresee. They suffered, but their reward exceeded everything men can imagine. For what greater prize is there than the freedom to live in Elysian, and the sure knowledge 
to have secured the freedom of the mortals to be remembered for generations, if not until the end of days. Long live Leonidas and his memory. Long live the 297 men who fell with him. May Aphrodite praise the victors of Plataei, those who saved Hellas from the tyranny of the barbarians. Yet the fate of men is to suffer, and because our strength, our victories, and our most excellent way of life, the Maori have envied our glory. They sent the lowly Thebans and worthless creatures who once betrayed the Hellens to the, to the barbarians, imitators Iphialtes, to make us suffer the greatest evils. Having destroyed our armies, the impertinent Epaminondas, servant of Hades, put two thorns in our side. Messene and Megalopolis are their names, and if Lacedaemon shall return to its former glory, they must be destroyed. From rock and sand they were made, rock and sand they shall once more become. After the shameful Thebans came the goat herd Alexander, and once more we were betrayed. O oh, cruel Moirai, what have we done to deserve this fate? Now Lacedaemon is but a shadow of its former self. The slavish Messenians are free, but freedom is not meant for lowly beasts like them. The barbarians from the north still stand strong, heirs of the boy king Alexander, but their infightings will bring about their downfall. Tyke, be my witness. On the island of Pelops, the children of Achaia rise up, while the Arcadians watch us with scorning views from their fortress of Megalopolis. This insult to our name. Once proud Corinthos, our friend and enemy on many occasions, is now but a slave of the barbarians. Rumour has it even the Helots in Laconia are getting bolder by the day. Is the end near, or will we save Lacedaemon? Are the kings capable? Will Sparta return to its ancient form, or should we even consider adapting to the new world out there? The fate of Lacedaemon lies in your hands. Only one thing is sure, suffer you will. And if you fail or succeed, the rock of Tygatos, the sand of Laconia, and the water of Eurotos will be there to witness it all. Awesome, that is brilliant. So the goal for this campaign, guys, is to basically unify Greece under Sparta initially, and maybe move on to Italia and Anatolia. And if we can do that, I'd be very happy indeed. It does say faction difficulty hard. Um, so it should be relatively relatively hard. And the campaign and battle difficulty are on hard. Not very hard on this, guys, because um, it's balanced for hard. And I did a uh, bit of a run-through on Bactria uh, on very hard. And I can tell you the battles were absolutely brutal, guys. So I think it's... A bit better if we go on hard. Otherwise, we might just die instantly. You never know. <laughs> so, guys, let's start the campaign. We'll watch the introduction, and I'll meet you back on the campaign map. So I believe that is the Seleucid introduction video, which is interesting. 
I think it is anyway. I'm, I'm not sure. It could be the Greek cities. I don't think it is the Greek city-states. I think that talks about Rome a little bit more. But then again, on Rome Remastered, I haven't really played the Greeks. I played it a lot on the original, and a lot of these videos have changed. But let's uh, wait out the loading screen. I'll wait it out and see you on the, uh, the main map. So here we are, guys. Long gone are the glory days of yesteryear in Sparta. Once it was the foremost city-state of all Greece, it defied the Persian Empire and triumphed in the war over the Athenians. And its famous warriors were feared and admired throughout the world. Now, however, it is, a shadow, is it but a shadow of itself. Look to rebuild, but be weary of the upstart Achaeans. Be wary, and you might need help against the Antigonids. Yep. Very likely we will need help against the Antigonids, the Macedonians. Um, so here we are. Welcome to Rome Total Realism Imperium Serectum. This mod is made to provide players with a more challenging and immersive game. So there's a few things here to note, guys. Some cities will spawn dangerous garrisons. Uh, AI factions receive extra income and upgraded armies. Um, certain AI factions that are nearly defeated spawn an extra army like a doom stack from Divide and Conquer. Most factions start out with negative income. Because cities provide less income and armies cost more. So basically we need to go and campaign against the enemy straight away. Here is Megaopolis. Um, and we need to go and defeat them straight away. But first let's have a look around the map. I'll show you a few of the features of the mod guys if you've never seen it before. Um, so if we look at Sparta guys. Here it is. You can see that there's this extra building here, the Strategia, Military Governor, Level 3 Annexation. It's actually on rank 4, and this is the thing that allows us to train our armies. However, you need to still upgrade your military buildings to train some of these guys. And these are the options that we can train currently. And you can see the greyed out ones are there. So the Spartan Homoioi, the Homoioi, Yep, the, some of them are here and we're not able to train them because we haven't upgraded our buildings uh, just yet. So we have no no uh, cavalry stable, so that's why we can't get this Spartan cavalry, for example. Uh, excellent morale. It's an okay cavalry unit, actually. That for a light cavalry, that's decent and it's fast moving. 27 charge is okay, but I can tell you the Pawnee Nobles, guys. I was fighting them just a little bit ago. Um, <laughs> they have a 57 charge, so good luck to us with those. And you can see the cost of units is hugely, hugely increased. So, so much increased. We have very little cavalry at the start of the game, but guys, because... As you can see, our Spartan General is actually a Spearman unit, a Phalanx. I, I think it's a Phalanx unit. Um, but yes, it is a really, really, really um, tough do at the start, not having any cavalry. Uh, but let's have a look at some of our generals. Arius of Sparta. He's a Greek, good commander, command talent. He is a Spartiate. Uh, were the males of Sparta known to Spartans as peers or men of equal status? So this is basically showing you that uh, this is uh, what he is. He's of the Agiad dynasty. He's a knight fighter. He's a king, which is awesome. And he is our faction leader. And then we have uh, Eudamidas. 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 And you're, uh, sorry, what was his name? Areus and Eudamidas. And he is a Greek. He's a weakling. He's an incompetent commander. Uh, and he's a king and a former U4. This man has finished his term as a member of the U4. If I law, he may never serve again. So he is trash. So we really don't want him out on the battlefield. Especially with that massive loss of morale. Hmm. So first things first, guys. We're going to get building. I think we need to risk our, our uh, spy in one of these settlements to get in. What do they have? Who are these? A pretty average cavalry. They've got some Greek hoplites, which are decent, and some skirmishers. What is their general? What is your general, my friend? Your general is just Greek cavalry. Um, but uh, Antigonids, Aegeon. I think we go for the Unholy Alliance. If not the Boeotian League, because... These guys have a bit of a better army at the start. I'll give you trade rights, map information. How about four map information? We see no benefit to us. 
Go for trade rights then. A most generous now proposal. alliance. See whether you accept. And I'll give you map information for it. We see no benefit to us. We'll try it with Athens. We need allies right at the start of the game, guys. That is a hundred percent. We see no benefit to nope. us. It's because we're probably on hard. Try some trade rights with you anyway. A most generous proposal. Can we have an alliance? A most generous Okay, so proposal. we'll we'll ally with the Antigonids to start okay, with. Friend. Map, uh, no, not become protectorate. Map for map, I think, is going to be... Regretfully, nope. we must decline. Well, I like with them to start and try and take out some of these smaller city-states. As you can see, we're already at war with Argos and Megalopolis. I believe these are just rebels, right? Arcadians? Free peoples, yeah. So they are just rebels. Uh, and we're going to have to risk... Our spy opening the gate for us. Because otherwise we might get attacked in the back. And we really don't want that to happen. So we'll get you in there. So this army... It's okay. We've got healer archers. Missile attack of 11 is pretty decent. Not great morale, but good for an archer. Spartan homoioi. 47 defense, 22 morale, 16 melee attack. That's excellent. That is really good. And the periokoi hoplitai. Yes, pronunciation is going to be a tough one all the way through this, <laughs> guys. So, <laughs> please excuse me if my pronunciation is not amazing. We'll go first for Megapolis. They're both just towns. And they've both got exactly the same garrison. But the second thing we want to do is recruit another unit. We can go for Spartan Kreptea. They're just normal spearmen without much armor. With a load of defense skill. So I think. Versus these guys. I mean. These guys. These spearmen. The uh, Spartan Cryptea. Are pretty similar. And quite a bit cheaper. Let's have a look. Yeah. They've just got a lot less armor. That's the only issue. Hmm. They will die to missiles, but it doesn't look like we're going to be fighting too many people with a lot of missiles early. Um, and I think first thing we want to build is the land clearance, because that is the thing that is going to bring us the most money. As you can see, nearly, well, nearly 400 in extra money, which is excellent. I'm not too worried about a, a, a wall just yet. And did he open the gate? No, he didn't. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Well then, guys, I think that's the first turn. So let us end the turn and see where we can go from here. Oh, I didn't mean to come down here. Ah, no! <laughs> we're at the bottom! Oh, well. No one attacked us, so we're all good. I don't believe, anyway. Yeah, no one attacked us. You can see we do have a ship. A single ship. Um, but yeah. Kingdom of Epiros. So we have the Aetolian League. So Greece at this point is pretty much just split between all these small individual nations. Apart from the Antigonids, the Macedonians, who have a large kingdom. So we really need to get to equivalent strength with them first before we then decide to take them on. So that's why I've taken that alliance with them. Um, where was our diplomat? You there. Let's try and get trade rights with these boys. A most generous proposal. Um, would you like an alliance as well? A most generous okay, we'll take that alliance there as well. Did Athens take our trade rights? No. A most generous so proposal. we want trade rights with everyone so that we can start getting more money. Because as you can see, we are struggling for money right now. Quite significantly. And even putting ourselves on high like that, we do not make much money. So we need to go and conquer. <sighs> I wonder if we attack that, we could do a draw out battle. I think we could, you know. I honestly think that's more important than sieging this down. So we're going to risk it. We're definitely going to risk that. The Bloodstained Sword and the Battle Shield have been put aside. And these people have decided to live in peace with one another for now. The Achaean League. So Antigonids and Aetolians are at war. The other thing is we don't want the Antigonids to get too strong. To the point where we can't even attack them. So that's another thing that we've got to be wary of. But let's go break the siege. Yes, they did come in. He does have cavalry, so that's one thing we need to worry about. And the Greek hoplites are pretty decent, as I've said. They don't have any archers. I think, though, our infantry can beat theirs. Um, but their general is a cavalry general. But 
then again, as I say, we're mainly spearmen, so we should be able to counter that effectively. Who's this first army is just skirmishers. Ah, that, that would be where it'd be nice to have a bit of cavalry, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be really nice to have a little bit of cavalry there. First battle of the campaign, guys, though, so I hope you enjoy this one. I know I am, as long as we win anyway. <laughs> The thing with this mod, you've got to note, is that battles are extremely, extremely harder. A lot, lot harder. And you lose a lot more troops. They're also a lot slower, so they generally take a lot more time. Um, and the AI does get a in pretty insane buffs in some of these battles. like um, that, that you wouldn't really believe sometimes. But it's all for the extra challenge, isn't it? It's all there for the added challenge, isn't it? So that's, uh, that's the whole point. But we will just do the standard, get the spearmen out in a line and uh, skirmishers behind and archers behind. I think because we have that archer dominance, we might as well try and skirmish with them a little bit. Um, but let's see. Let's listen, though. Now trouble begins. We did not seek war, but we are facing battle and we will not stop until our dead foes fill the field. Yes, come on. Hate Forest, though, for one thing. I think he's going to take the hill because he's the AI. And the AI in Remastered loves taking the hill, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But as I say, we will we'll probably take the hill as well. Let's have a look at some of these units as well, guys, once, we, uh, once I've got them set up. We'll have a look at them. And uh, we'll get our general on the flank. So let's have a look at our general first. Spartan general. Oh, jeez, they look awesome. Look at some of these shields as well. Look at the, the design on the helmet as well. That is awesome. And the breastplate. Wow, that is cool. So we've got the crypt here, here which are the cheaper version, cheaper guys. Looking pretty nice, but you can tell that they have no armor at all. And then we've got the Hoplitae here, the uh, Spearman. Looking pretty nice. Looking pretty standard Hoplites. And then we've got the same there. And then we've got the Spartan Hominoi. The very, very nice looking Spartan Hoplites. Very nice. Look at them. They look like beasts. And we've got some of our Helot Javelin Men. Let's get you off... Uh, that as well and then we have some of our helot archers over here as well oh look at these officers they look cool as fook look at that he's got like gold chainmail, bro nice right then uh, let's get you guys here and we're probably not going to be able to see where they are so we're gonna have to move i'm not really bothered about this first oh hey though hey there there they are Um, so I think we send probably two units up to deal with these guys. Probably, oh no, not you two actually. Not you two, just one of you guys. I want you, the cheaper guys, to come up here with potentially this skirmisher regiment. So I want you to tank the uh, tank the javelin throws and throw your own. And we'll get the crypt here up here. Did you just listen to what I was saying? As soon as you're ready. They move very quickly, as you can see. Now you guys come through. They are just uh, missile men themselves. There's that second army coming in. Get you guys nicely spread out. And let's get the general. They run. Oh, well. So they're going to run. Our guys are moving relatively quickly, as you can see, for pretty heavily armed. But these guys aren't heavily armored, are they? Are they fast moving? No, they're not, but they seem to be moving very quickly. Oh, it looks like they might be charging. So let's go. If they want to charge, that's no problem for me. We'll sandwich them. Guys, I told you to charge, bro. Fuck me. The pathing in this game, man, sometimes is horrendous. Stop walking! Guys, I, if you've never seen me play before, I will get salty. So please don't get upset by that. Uh, also, pressing the space button doesn't make this, the trees go away, which is quite annoying. 
Only frightened rabbits running from our men. Uh, can our archers fire yet? No, oh, God, not quite. You don't have long range missiles, do you? 130, no. Long range is 160 plus. Oh, we lost like three men there, and that was it. No, I don't want you to fire on them anymore. I think we're good. You guys get there. General, you can protect the flank. He has got cavalry. You can see he's got his cavalry here. So we might as well have a look at some of these guys. Put it on slow-mo so we can look. I think these guys are militia. Do they fire javies or, or what? Let's have a look. No, they don't fire javies. They're just holding their spears like that. And we've got the Greek general. Pretty decent. And we've got these Greek hoplites looking awesome. Looking very nice indeed. And then they, they have their own uh, Psoloi. Ready, boys? Fire away. How are you not firing yet, you fools? They're just going to run straight into, into Spearman, which is great for us. You can see they've absolutely been shredded there. Nope. Okay, you go uh, through. We'll get the general through as well. I want to make sure that we kill them all. Right, you guys get these hoplites in the back. General, go after his general. In fact, ideally both of you guys. Is he going to charge? Yeah, he did do a charge. Oh, you see, even with that, that charge was quite heavy. I didn't want to get my general round the flank there because of his hoplites coming. These guys are wavering. Fight them. Let's go, boys. I think we're holding our own, kind of. He's still got his psiloi, or whatever. Psiloi? How do you even say that? Psiloi. Pissiloi. Pissy loy. Yeah, that's it. We killed his general, yeah? If we kill his general, I think these guys will break. Let's get there. Javelin men, let's go. Is his general dead yet? Oh, where's he gone? He's still there. I think we're doing okay. I think we're holding our own. Now fire on them. As you can see, the battles do take a little bit longer, but that's better, I think. It gives you more opportunity to uh, to move tactically. A lot of phalanx and spearman battles going to happen in this region of the world, guys, until we start fighting Romans and uh, Anatolians, really. Yeah, get those javis in. Keep firing. You're not firing. You don't seem like you're firing. But these Spartan hoplites, uh, these Greek hoplite, hoplites are pretty strong. Nice. The hoplites of Greece. Now they're broken. Kill them. Go, go, go. Make sure they don't really escape. Because I want to destroy this whole army, obviously, to take the uh, rest of the map. This is another reason why we need cavalry. Get there now, boys. Go, go, go. I want you guys to get behind so that we can. Uh... I want you guys to come like this way. Stop anyone running away. Everyone's breaking. Kill the general is ideally the best situation here. You guys get after them. How many have we killed? <sighs> we need to get another five percent somehow. We're not going to kill that general, are we? Guys, go! You guys are fast moving. Let's go. Or even here. Go over there. Go over there. Go over there. Oh, you're so cumbersome. You're so cum. Yes! He killed him! So we just need to kill another few men. I don't think we're going to make it, though, are we? How many? 18, bro. Where are you guys? Where's the closest one of you? Oh, you're so far away. 
Thought you were fast moving, bro. I think if we kill these, it might be enough. So, let's go. No, 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 go! How can you... How can you do this to us? They're going to escape with a few troops. That is annoying, but... Yes, they, they caught up with them. Did we get my... Yes! Come on, boys. I think that'll be enough. Get that last one, just to make sure. Oh, that was so close. Oh, we inflicted a lot more casualties than we lost. We took quite a lot of the Poroikoi, uh... Porioikoi? Porioikoi. Perioikoi. Perioikoi. There we are. That's better. Hoplitai. Perioikoi Hoplitai took 41. Spartan Cryptia 13. I think they're a pretty strong unit, actually. Spartan, Spartan Homoioi. Only a few. 80 by the General, though. That's pretty decent. But the Perioikoi, 94. Also good. And the Javelinman, 71. That's actually quite surprising. So I'm hoping we've done enough there. To get rid of both of those armies and move into the city. And take our first settlement, guys. Which is awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Is it gone? Yes! Come on. Let's enslave them. And let's have a look what they have. Of course, they have native culture Greek. That's one of the other good things around here is... Um, everything's going to be our native culture. Of course, we're not going to be able to train anything here. Next thing. Let's uh, merge you guys. Uh, is that not merging? Why won't you merge? What about you guys? Merge you. Why won't you merge? You're both the same unit, right? Oh, that's weird. Well, because we're training you in there, what we'll probably do, we'll get you going straight away. Four turns, only four turns until this surrenders, so we might even just wait it out rather than trying to take it. Depends on how much money, how, how in debt we are. Uh, this is only 65 still, but they'll be getting that, so that will um, negate that, that uh, negative. We've got our spy in here as well. So, is he open the gate this turn? Oh, he has opened the gate. We could probably take this now. Could we take it, though? It was pretty much the same army. I think we could. I think we go for it. I think we have to. This guy, Ar Arias, is a really good commander. Right then, guys. I'll see you on the battlefield. Here we are, guys. Let's listen. How many of us who look upon this dawn will live to see the night? I tell you. The sons of Greece will see the dusk and will be triumphant! Wait, I think they're the, also the sons of Greece, to be honest. But, oh well. Gates are open. So, the archers took no damage in that. I think we use our archers to the, to the greatest extent that we can, really. I'll send you three around this way. The one issue, the one difficulty I think will be the, um, will be the, uh, the horses. I want the archers to, uh, do as much damage as they can before we even move in. Their towers won't be shooting at us if we get here. What is that? Greek hoplites. Yeah, if you could shoot at those Greek hoplites, that would be amazing. Right, you uh, come forward. We'll bring you, these guys forward as well. If you could fire as well, that'd be awesome. Get you off that. Start firing, boys. Fire and wave, boys. Fire and wave. <laughs> They're not going to take many down because they have decent stats. Like, oh, only five armor. I thought it was more than that, but eight shield is pretty big. It's pretty beastly. And where are you? You should be able to uh, fire at them if they get here. So skirmishes are actually pretty decent in this mod. That's one thing you've got to remember, guys. They seem like they're curving, but it's just the arc that they're firing on, isn't it? Yeah, fire them in the in the right-hand side where they don't have the shield, definitely. And in the arse. Shoot at them in the arse. 
Let's say they put a guy over there and over here as well. Interesting. Oh, that is that is good. That is good fighting from us there. Let's get our guys through. While they're running away. Let's get the archers back here as well. Get you there. Oh, it's uh, janking a little bit. Good. Um, probably want to send you forward first. I'd prefer you to take the brunt of the charge. You can. Nice. I love the uh, look of the settlements now as well. They look a lot more realistic. Looking pretty nice. Got a bit of... S is it snow on the roofs? I don't think so. It's just the gaps, isn't it? Alright, and then you guys come and protect the flank. And then we'll get the uh, big general in after you. Ooh, it's starting to jank a little bit. I've never had that before. I didn't have that when I was playing as Bactria. Maybe because I'm recording. Hmm. It's going to be a little bit tougher. They're not going to like it, are they? There we are. Yeah, here they come. Guys, get in. Kill this cavalry unit. I think we'll do well because we are spearmen, as you know. They don't want to fire, and that's I'm okay with that. Because we still have a general to beat who's a cavalry general. Two uh, settlements in the first second turn, guys. It's pretty good, I'd say, if we do manage to take it, which I'm hoping we do. Where have they gone? They've completely fucked off, haven't they? I really don't want to fight them on the town square. Of course. You guys get there and just start firing into the town square. That would be ideal. Yep, yeah, they're completely deaded. Hardly took any losses there as well. You guys get there. General, get you here. You guys get here. Yeah, get in position quick, boys, please. What was that? The Pisoiloi coming. The Pissiloi. The Pissiloi are on the way, boys. Hoping they just charge in. Looks like they're going to. That's not the greatest idea you've ever had. Uh, you guys want you on uh, guard mode as well. This Pissiloi is actually uh, aiming to uh, take some... Take some sh pot shots at us, so maybe we should get into them. You guys firing? Fire at the Greek cavalry, please. Not Greek cavalry in the vanilla sense of the name. Ah, oh, so. Looks like guard mode, they kind of do a bit of a uh, phalanx. But it looks like it's the wrong way around. And they're also holding the spears above their heads. Yeah, that's a lot better on guard mode, isn't it? Should, you should absolutely shred these guys. Come on. They're literally just skirmishers. No, no, no. Sorry. How about we go in guard mode as well. See whether that's a better animation. Yeah, you should shred these guys. Come on, boys. You're doing pretty weakly, I'd say, now. That way. You're facing the wrong way. This is one problem with guard mode. I'll take you off guard mode now because of that. These guys have got it down a lot better. Are they firing at the, at the bodyguard? Should be. It's not like something. I don't know. I think it's one of these units. Are you firing or what? Tempted to put them on fire arrows just to see. They are. Just not very well. It doesn't like it when I have this open, I don't think. Ah, oh, there. See, it's a lot smoother now. How are you taking so much damage? You should be shredding these boys. It's because of the difficulty. On very hard, they would take even more damage. Speed it up. Guys, are there any arrows hitting these guys? I, I don't think there are, are there? They're not firing. Get here. See whether that helps. Now fire. See whether you do fire. 
Oh, they actually are firing now. Get about here, maybe. Okay. Yes, they're done. Now we just want to kind of fire into them. I could try and flank these boys, but I'm not too bothered by that. Can you fire at them? You should be able to see them. Oh, he's moving his general. Yeah, now arrows are coming in. Nice. We've got to do this, guys, because otherwise we will lose so many troops fighting this battle. More than is necessary. Oh, go get in. Lost a lot to those Javis then. Oh, here they come. Get there, get there, quick. Get you off guard mode and hit them. You guys move forward. Fire. What are you doing? Go, boys, go. You're dying so much to the Javis. Um, fire at them, you might as well. So they're not actually throwing the jabbies. Yeah, you can see the battles are a lot slower, a lot more tactical, which is brilliant. I, I really like that change. Could get you guys behind. Marcel's there. Could get you guys to kind of... If we could get you guys down there to flank them, that would be ideal. And maybe someone else to attack the, the general's bodyguard. It's going to be a tough do fighting these guys. Fire at them then. Oh. God. That's tough. That's tough. You guys get through. Where's the Javis? Fire, Javis. Fire. Fire. <laughs> we should beat these guys. We are spearmen after all. And they're trying to get through, but we've got our second line of infantry here. They broke, though, those guys, unfortunately. Uh, the guard mode just makes them turn the wrong way, so let's turn them off that. Oh, this general is sh getting shredded. He's surrounded now as well. What a fool. Ah, ah, ah. There we are. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. I want them off the town square, ideally. So let's get you guys there. Missile guys, let's get you here. These poor crypt here don't know what to do, do they? Right, you guys forward as well. Archers will bring you forward. Put you on fire at will as well now. Single guy firing jabbies. Ah, he's dead now. Hmm. I really don't want them to have to fight on the town square, so get off. We'll just come back this way. I want to fight him off the town square so he doesn't have to fight to the death, basically. Because he will fight to the death otherwise. Town Square, if, in case you don't know, they will all fight to the death. So, yes, now they're off the town. Are they off? I'm not sure. Now you can go on if, if they break. No. No, no, there we are. Go, go, go. General, rally the boys. Come forward. What are they doing? Surround them. General, ideally, let's get you over here, boys. Kill these guys. Let's go. Let's go. I want you to run through, boys. Missiles, you're done, aren't you? Get there. You have run out of missiles as well. Kill them. Then we can fully surround these boys. So once you've killed them. Yes! Fantastic. 
Ah, uh, so losing half of what they did in this siege battle is actually pretty decent, I'd say, especially on this mod. So, yeah, 117 for the crypt here, but they, they lost it at the end there, getting routed by the by the uh, enemy general. A lot of these guys done pretty well, so well done. We might even be in the positive money now, but as soon as we retrain those troops, which we can do in Sparta, we are not... <laughs> I can assure you we won't be in the positive money then. <laughs> Because running armies in this mod is very expensive. And I think we go for an enslavement again. Trait increase. Superior commander for Arius. He is amazing. He is really good. Uh, what can we train here? Nothing. Absolutely zero. That's because we don't have the conquered land occupation thing at all. So, as I say, we are making money again. I'm thinking... We can't retrain you, can we? So we'll try and get you guys back to Sparta. But you will be able to go next turn. And who are we allied with? We're allied with both of these guys next to us. Athens, as you can see, doesn't have much. So we should probably go for Athens next. So let's end the turn. It looks like the Antigonids are going for them, though. Oh, a lot of, a lot of movement there. A lot of army movement. It's funny how Athens is leaving that guy outside the wall so that we can just go and pick them off. If we want to. Same with Igeon, Ikea. But we should definitely, definitely try and expand as quick as possible. And as you can see, we have made a little bit of money. But it's not huge. Um, can it be breached? I think we take walls here just to be completely and utterly safe. We'll retrain these boys. How much to retrain you? We need about, oh, we need about 1,500 or so. Oh, we got a new new general coming of age. Arkatotas. Nice. And what is he? He's a gourmet of life. He's handsome, a casual adulterer. Plus two morale to all troops. Really? <laughs> Fidelity in marriage is not a concept that this man considers important. He has already committed adultery with the wife of a so-called friend. <laughs> well, he's whimsical. That makes sense. Disdains his father. So increases the likelihood of the son acquiring bad traits. <laughs> He's a Spartan Agogi training. This character is undergoing Agogi training. He will not enter military service until the age of 20. He cannot be moved into an army until then. Ah, interesting. And these are the Agiad dynasty. He's an oligarch. Cool. I like it. Yeah, he's an Agogi. Agogi! <laughs> that sounds so weird. <laughs> an Agogi. Can we even get past the Antigonids here? We're going to commit transgression, but I ain't too bothered by that. I need to at least... See, like, he can't move. What would happen if he got spawned into an army, then? Yeah, you're there. You guys retrain. Argos is very unhappy, but that's because of the tax rate. Get the tax rate up here as well. Make some more money. Where's our diplomat? Uh... Where did you go, sir? Well, we'll just have a look. Timon. Where are you? You look... Oh, you're behind there. Are we trading with you? No. We are. So, Aetolians. Ah, oh, we, can't, we can't reach there because of their damn diplomat. Good lord. Good lord. I really want to attack that army. There's not, there's no strength there at all, is there? We can't really do it with like no troops though. Even if we think we're hard, we're not that hard on this game. <laughs> so let's end the turn. Looks like they beat back the Antigonids a little bit. The other thing is, can we even get past that Antigonid army there? Oh, hello, dear friend. Kingdom of Epiros. I'm just going to accept oh, everything you. I can right now, honestly. Um, map for map, my friend. Regretfully, nope. we must decline. No one wants to give us map information. Because we need trade. Uh, what I might do is get rid of that alliance then. <sighs> the guys that have attacked... Yeah, war. Two of your faithful... Select the tick icon to main the, maintain the alliance with the Antigonids. Yes, that is what we want to do. What? 
Why, why are we no longer allied with the Antigonids? Why? I, I selected the other I selected you, Antigonids. I wanted to be allied. Well, that really leaves them open to being attacked. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think we go for it. You can't move, can you? So get there. Who else do we have? Pretty weak. Pretty weak. But we've got to go for it. While they're trying to siege down the Antigonids, we've got to go for it ourselves, I think. I should have probably got the spy in, if the spy is about somewhere. Where are you, spy? Okay, your spy's here. Right. You, uh, break the siege. You guy, you get in. We'll risk it again, see whether he opens the gates. Alliance in tatters with the Epirus. Okay, I don't care. No, he didn't open the gates. Oh, well. Well, at least we tried. Where's Mr. Diplomat? Where does my diplomat keep going? Trade rights with you, my friend? Most generous yep. proposal. Um, Antigonids, we want this alliance back, my friend. And who are these? Kingdom of Epirus look like they're uh, barbarians, honestly. <laughs> God, it's a mess down here. We need to clean all this up. So he, he cannot reach me to fight me because of this mountain, which is great for us. So we have generals there. We'd like to retrain you. Yeah, fantastic. All right, let's end the turn once again. And let's see whether we can take our third settlement. Hmm, got to be tough, though. He's not left it yet, has he? He didn't leave! He didn't leave! What a fool! Ha <laughs> ha! What an imbecile! What a crazy, crazy imbecile! <laughs> Athens are going to be next after this as well. We just need we need to get more money. So taking this, which is a large town, is going to be a huge result for us if we can. It only has three units in there, but of course we are quite depleted, as you can see. So we're going to have to skirmish quite a bit again. No mercenaries available. We're making absolutely no money whatsoever. Very high tax rate everywhere we can. They're, only on, they're on 70% with that. That's fine. Um, I think we send you there. They're still on 70 with very high in uh, Sparta. So that's brilliant for us. And we'll swap these guys over because he'll be making more money in Sparta than he will be here. Devastation we've got. Surprised there's any rebels around this area, if there is any. So what does he have? He has Uzoni. They look like just standard and Theropodoi. I think they're like standard sort of legionaries. They throw javelins before charging. And he's got his faction leader. So, let's attack. I'll meet you on the battlefield again, guys. The ferryman will be busy today. Here we are. I mean, we'll try. Uh, we can only... It's a large town, so it's a lot larger. We've only got one ram. Luckily, we're far away from the towers, so the towers ain't going to destroy us. You guys on the end. You guys next to them. And you guys there. I want you guys in first, because you're the most damaged. We can afford to lose more of you. We'll only use these guys if we absolutely have to because we can't even retrain them yet. Should use the general a little bit more. Would probably be better. Mm -mm, archers forward. Probably like here. Missiles. Get you there. Get you off. Why are you going back to uh, run away every single time? I didn't... I swear I didn't select. I could have sworn I did not not select. Oh, no, no, no. Not you. You, you go for the... There. Go on, fire away. Theroporite. So these are like le Greek legionaries, I believe. Like spearmen, though. But they do fire a javi before they charge. Now, let's see what else he's got. So he's got a general, and it's a very strong one because it's got a decent amount of troops. See the Greek general. Wow, look at those outfits, bro. He's got like leopard skin, cheetah skins on there. Where's he got them from? Cool. And then just standard, like, slingers, I think. Not slingers, sorry. Javelin men, let's have a look. 
Yeah, they are missile. 13 with 6 missiles. That's actually quite good. Yeah, it doesn't like it when I have this open during the, during the, get, uh, during the battles. So we've got to remember to keep putting away. Okay, he's firing his javis. He's trying to anyway. If we get closer, we can fire ours. How about that then, you fool? You fucking lunatic. Think you're going to beat me, bro? Nice. We're through the gates. You two. Get here. The problem is if the cavalry does charge in, they will probably will just break. Do we just make our way up through the middle? I think we do. I've got that, that guy there. Missiles. Missiles. Not missiles. Missiles. If anything, you guys should get there. Go, 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 quick. Or even here. And we'll get the missiles behind. Get there, missiles. Make sure you don't run too far forward. And then we need... Probably one of you guys here. Um, you guys can get behind and we'll get the general's bodyguard here. Get you on guard mode. You firing your missiles yet? Where's the archers? Do with you guys getting in. Come on, fire! You should be able to fire. You've got a decent angle there, bro. Well, while that's fighting, while that's going on, we should probably come forward unless he's going to charge his men now. You should be firing. I don't believe they are. Let's get like... Ah, come on. Let's get there. Where are our archers? Ah, come on, archers. You should be able to fire now. Get there. Can you not fire yet, boys? Right then, you guys get forward, you guys get forward, and you in behind, and you probably in reserve, and then we'll get the archers up to here. You guys should be able to fire, come on boys. Alright, our units are getting a bit shredded, but at least one of them's made it around the side of them. Fire! Yeah, that's better. Fire, boys. Fire. You should be able to fire. Come on. Are you firing? Yes, they are. Now, that's going to force them to charge. Decent. And then all we'll have left is some slingers or whatever. They're not slingers. Skirmishers. Yeah, they're taking damage. Good luck. Yeah, that charge was trash. Well done, boys. Good bracing. You guys on, on that as well. Kill them all. Ah, the Javis are helping out a lot here. Nice. Speed it up. Well done, boys. There's only three left of this unit, and they're still fighting on. Well done, brave boys. Very brave. What is this? We've got 15 left. Looks like his general's stuck there, though, so we should kill him. Unless that's... Yeah, that is his general. He's got a sword, not a spear. spear. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him, it's just him left. Nice. I swear I didn't choose a night battle as well, so I'm surprised it's a night battle. Fighting to the death, get out of there. Don't want them fighting to the death, bro. Where's that guy? I want you to come and survive. <laughs> Even though you've got no experience, how did you get no experience? Now they're routing, now you can go kill them. Let's go forward. You forward. Archer forward. I just want the archer to be able to fire on these guys. Kill them all. 
shouldn't really need anyone else. I think we'll be good with this, this, these troops. Should be able to break them quite easily. Got to make sure that, yeah, they're stopping to fire their javis now. So let's go. Make sure you're off, off that. Just go, go straight for them. They went straight for our general. That's not a problem. Our general can tank a shot like that. That's no problem at all. They're wavering already. Go, get through. Get through. How are they firing? Oh, it's such so brutal the, the sounds. <laughs> well, no, actually, they, we lost so many there to the Javis. They were still able to fire even while we were we were fighting them. Right, we, we will fight them on the town square then. We will kill them all because of that. Because they have offended us. Get in the back. Surround them all. Yeah, that should be a lot easier to kill them now. They should fall very nicely and easily. Get some experience, boys, please. Over there. Oh, just knocked something. Oh, the general's got two experiences. That's pretty nice. I'd like these guys to get... I swear they had experience. Or was it... Ah, oh, it's just you guys. I'm surprised this guy who went down to one did not get any experience. Surely he would get experience. So they killed nearly similar to us, which is actually worse than last time, which is a bit shocking. But those javis, you can see javelins are very strong in this, which makes sense because they were strong. And like in vanilla, they're awful. So I'm glad they've got a buff because in vanilla, like you would just never, never get them unless specifically you were like, ah, oh, I'll probably be going up against elephants next time, next you know few turns. So I'll get a couple of a couple of javis just in case or something. But even then, you'd, you'd never really do it. Right, let's enslave again. A statue of Olympia still gives a plus four population bonus, which is great. So we've got made everyone a bit happier. And we've killed the Achaean League. So that is now a rebel, which is great for us. They might try and come and kill us. Uh, we have the military annexation building here. But it's not ours, but it's still Greek. So does that mean... I feel like we should still be able to train from that, but maybe not. What about in these ones do we we don't, do we? No. What's this? Sanctuary of Eclepskios. That's ready to upgrade. Wow. Faction destroyed. Key and League. Can someone let me know in the comments down below whether I need to destroy this or not in future? Because, yeah, so I feel like it, it wants me to, but maybe we need to end the turn. And now we're making a decent, actual decent amount of money. But once again, we need these guys to all get retrained. You guys can actually get there, can't you? Let's get you there. Who can't? You can't. Okay, no problem. Get the rest of you in there. Anyone that we can retrain? Just one of you guys. Okay, no problem. Right, let's end the turn again, guys. And see what happens. That will probably end the episode. Would you like an alliance back? Yes. Okay, proposal. good. Thank you, Antigonids. We need as much land as we can get, really. We should probably go to Cyprus as well. See whether they've got anyone, any, any decent people there. Um, and Rhodes, and see whether they've... Not Cyprus, sorry, Kyrene. And see whether they've got any uh, decent settlements we can take. So, I'd like to retrain you, but it's going to cost so much money, isn't it? That's probably all our money gone. Yeah, it is. So... I didn't destroy this, did I? And it doesn't look like it gives me any anything, so we should probably should destroy it. And let's build our own. Nice. How are we doing over here? I'm going to swap you back into Sparta because you'll make more money there. And send you to Argos. Argos! And we need to bring you back to Sparta to retrain as well. And you can. Awesome. And then I think we go after Athens. I don't want to fight this army. As you can see, it's reasonably strong. So I'm hoping the Antigonids do that for me. But 
Doesn't look like they're going to. Can we retrain any more troops? We are making a hell of a lot of money now compared to what we were doing before. Let's go have a look at the settlement over here. This is Rebel. I can't see the army. Show me the army. I think we go for for here next then. I think we skip out on, on uh, getting in on all this action. So if we're going to do that, should probably bring you guys back. And it's still happy, Igeon. And we need... We'll probably train you just to take take that as a garrison. So it's been a uh, Republic of Rome and Republic of Carthage at war. Sparta and Tigridids, we are allies once again. Well, guys, it's been a fun episode, hasn't it? I've really enjoyed it. It's been really fun. Uh, we've taken three cities already, but I'm sure that the good luck is going to end at some point. Um, next thing, I think we'll go for here and then maybe roads. Because we need land that is not really close to the Antigonids and, and far enough away from anyone to fight us on it and, and kind of... You know, build up our strength before we take on the Antigonids. Because that's going to be a really tough do fighting these guys. They have plenty of settlements and they are ready to go. Well, guys, if you have enjoyed this first episode of this series, please do like. Please do subscribe. As I say, we are going for that ambitious goal of 10,000 subscribers. So, please do subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Please comment down below any tips and tricks you have for this mod. Um, I have played it a little bit, but I'm not a huge expert on it. So please do comment down below any tips and tricks. That would be amazing. Comment down below what you think of the playthrough so far and where you think it's going. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I'll see you again on the next video.